You've turned away podcasts for so many years. What made you want to jump on podcasts all of a sudden? I wanted to work hard enough until I didn't need to introduce myself. I'm a huge believer that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Time is of the essence. I don't want to waste any time. I want to spend as much time with my son and daughter as I can. So I'm a huge believer to hustle in silence and let success be the noise. So some people ask me, how do I choose my partners? And one of my, the main parts of me choosing a partner is, can I enjoy the journey with that partner? I don't know anybody else in the world that's as good as us at recovering from websites. Sometimes the bad times make the good times better. And without having the bad times, you don't appreciate the good times. And the most successful people, in my opinion, are the people that have failed the most. Too many people don't fail and they live within the comfort zone. And you, you show me one billionaire that's ever lived in their comfort zone. So many people are buying guest posts that are toxic, that they're part of bad link neighborhoods, that you should not be building them links to your site. We have recovered so many sites from disavows. So anyone who says disavows do not work, it's an embarrassment. My mum was the rock of the family. The, my dad died when I was 16 and my mum was there having to bring up three lads at the time, 16, 18 and 19. It was heartbreak at the time. What do you think your dad would say to all of your achievements? He'd love it. Um, he was he was the one that like forced my bounce back in order. Dad would be very, very, very proud that still to this day, I'm still striving to improve. In 60 seconds or less, tell me your go-to strategy for launching a new affiliate website. <laughs> <laughs>